Many people dream of setting up a company or creating that unique product, but around 80% of small businesses fail in the first three years. So what does it take to give up everything and put it all on a hunch? Investment banker Nadia Watson is a self-confessed shoe addict, but she found getting around town in designer shoes was a problem. The soles of the shoes would get ruined or due to the weather I didn't want to damage my good suede, you know, Christian Louboutin shoes. She came up with a solution, ballet shoes which fold up and fit into a handbag. Just so you can get around town a lot quicker and then when you get there you can look fabulous and then put your heels on. So it's much more comfortable and stylish way just to get from A to B. Former tradesman Craig Hyron gave up his roofing business, mortgaged his home and ploughed everything into his new venture, a stovetop coffee machine called Otto, based on the atomic coffee maker. If it's a good cup of coffee shared by thousands of people, which ultimately is, you know, uh, you know the mission, um, you know, that's, that's a sacrifice, you know, well made. The coffee maker sells for $800. The hand-polished machine may be pricey, but Craig Hyron says it will last for decades. I'm aiming it to people who really love their coffee and who love ritual and who love a process. Business consultant Peter Ryan says setting up your own company isn't for everyone. Everybody should dream, but I think everybody should be realistic about the ability to bring that dream into reality. And too much debt can be a problem. It's going to take twice as much money as you think, it'll take twice as long and it's twice as complex. So maxing yourself out and putting yourself under pressure on day one is not a smart strategy. Nadia Watson started selling fancy flats last November, but she still has her day job. Her mum and dad handle the orders. Craig Hyron says it will take years before he makes a profit. Despite the risks, these entrepreneurs say follow your dream. I guess to work in something that's sort of inspiring and that I'm passionate about um, ultimately is sort of how and why I want to get out of bed in the morning. That and a good cup of coffee. Sue Lennon, ABC News.